Hi, welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B, and I got a package, so I thought I'd share the unboxing with you. It's something my husband ordered to help us with cleaning, so let's open it up and see what it is. Hmm. So now we just gotta figure out the best way to do this. Now this is the top, so I'll do this side. What can it be? Of course I know what it is. But the anticipation uh, I like unboxing videos because I like the anticipation of finding out just what is inside. Kind of like Christmas. There we go. And I can't see it. But let's get it out so you can see what it is. Oh boy, is it tall. Ta-da! It's stuffing. It's a black box. I can't really see what it is on this side. There we go. It's actually, it's a Dyson V6. An Absolute Pro Vacuum. Let's open this box and see what's inside, see what it looks like. Hopefully it's a fun color, and then they come in a couple different colors. Uh, and he ordered it without me, so I don't know what color it is. And it's not easy to open. There we go. There we go. Turn it around so you can see. Huh. And this just looks like the crevice tool. There's a little box of something in here. This is, oh, a brush. It goes on the end of the crevice tool. Oh, that's nice. I did not know that it did that. I've never seen an extending crevice tool before, and it bends. That's really nice. Never seen anything like that before. That will come in very useful. Make sure there's nothing in the packaging. And oh, it's red. And they won't come out. Okay. And this is the main main part of the vacuum, it looks like. And it's cordless, which I really like. And let's see, hold one and press two to change mode. Oh, what? Hold one and press two. I'll have to read the directions. But inside here is the air filter. And this is what I really like about this is once it gets full, you just open it and you dump it out. That would be really nice. No bags. Hopefully minimize touching of the dirt. And this is one of the wands. Put all the packaging off of it.
metallic. Yes, definitely metallic. Okay. Not for sure if this one goes here or not. So before I try to assemble it, probably should get the rest of the pieces out. Packaging material, nothing else in it. Oops. Okay. Move forward a little bit more. The books, obviously. Oh, this is the plug. It is cordless, so this would be the charger for it. Carlos is going to be really nice. We have a, as you know, we have Flash, which is, he's a um, yellow Labrador, and he sheds constantly. So, that's the main reason we got this, uh, because it'll be really quick and easy to carry it around the house, vacuum up the hair. Okay, let's see. Okay, this looks like it's a cleaning head. No, I think there's a couple of them with it. Oh. Now this, it's kind of like velour. Okay, so yeah, it's, like I said, it's like velour. Even the brushes, they kind of feel like velour. And it's swivel back and forth that way. And there's the roller there. I'll have to read the directions to see all what that head is for. Okay, this one. Another type of a head. And this one has actual bristles in it. If I can show this to you, you know it's. Sorry, the lighting's not very good, but it has actual bristles on it. Then they have a flex, flex hose. I again, I'll have to read the directions to find out just exactly what we would use this for. Probably the car. Would be nice. That's what it's for because it'll be a lot easier to you know get around and catch. Whoops. Keep hitting the on button. It wouldn't be that in. So yeah, oh, and it expands. So I am guessing this would be for like the car. Out, put this here, pull this out, vacuum around stuff. Be nice. That's great to put together. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, okay. Another crevice tool. It's not extending, it's just plain flat. Typical, regular preface tool. Okay, this would be like your furniture tool. Oh, it's so neat how they get so inventive with new items. This is a two-in-one. Um, this would be, like, if you don't want the brush, you're just vacuuming, like, furniture and stuff. And, but if you push the button here and push it forward, now it has a brush on it. Where this used to be a tool that would be two separate tools on a vacuum. Dyson's made it so that it's only one. So that's real nice. And this would be the mounting bracket, or the... the bracket that you'll that you put on the wall. 
the end, it hangs up. I believe it goes something like that. Yeah. Hangs up and it hangs up on the wall when you're not using it. Store it out of the way, which will be be stored out of the way, which will be nice. And how do I get it off now? Interesting. Ah, okay. So to get it off, you push up and pull it up. Very convenient. This kind of reminds me of a spray gun. <laughs> About the same size. More packaging. And I put it in. I think there's still something else in there. Information about the warranty, and yes, there's still more in the box. Last thing, and let's see. Yes, that's all it's. Oh no, there's another box in there. Wow, sure do not. open both ends and that they're glued so much because if something happens you have to return it. it makes it more difficult to put back in the box. Oh I'm not one really to return things. Okay. A little bit. Okay, now that box is empty. Okay, this is another type of uh, vacuum head what it looks like. And it's supposed to be able to go from carpet to tile floors, which I just have tile floors. Tile hardwood floors. Okay. So now this one, very similar. Uh, it does do this though. Oops. This one just, yeah, this, is, this one goes like this and like this. Whereas this one, kind of has that ball action, the traditional, or the uh, classic Dyson ball action. It goes like this, and it goes like this, and it goes like this. And this has two brushes on it, a red one and a black one, a little stiffer brush, and this part is hard. There is a strip here to help collect stuff. Uh, and a strip here as well to help it glide along. And finally, this is a couple different things. This is There we go. It's some type of a brush. It's a little different shape. Remember, it's had a tool. Well, I've had one where it was oval, but it would usually come out this way not sideways like that. And it has the same felt type fabric here. Interesting. Bristles are really soft. It seems like they would squish really easily, so we'll see what that's for. Have to, again, I'll have to read the directions. Soft dusting brushes. So, oh! So a soft dusting brush should probably be like for your mini blinds or your um, you know, or clean blades. And this says it is a 
multi-angle brush. Okay, so this would be really nice. I think this would be for like the fan blades. Let me open again. Not very adept at this. So yeah, it's pretty much the same the same brush as this. Same size, same materials, same shape, but it has this U-joint on it. So this would probably be really good with the um, fan blades. So See, it does this, it turns around like this, so, you know, like you're up on your fan blades. That might be a good thing for why this is there. This connects. Turn this over here. I can't seem to get it on. Looks like it should go on here. And it doesn't. Okay. Well, at any rate, somehow this connects. And you know, you'll be able to... There. Yeah, can't see. And you'll be able to put it on top of your fan blades like this. Back in the top of it. Which will be really handy. Very, very handy. Okay, so... Um, there you have it. I uh, will certainly read the directions, use it for a little while, and you know if there's something that I like or don't like about it, I'll provide you, you know, well, update with a review of the product or of the vacuum. And if you like these types of videos, please let me know. I'll can be happy to continue to do them. And uh, in the meantime, I hope that you will like, subscribe, and feel free to comment. Let me know what you think. Until next time, you have a great day.